Assalamu alaikum or marhaba. Uh, this is Andrew Lim inviting you to go out on the limb. So I am in Amman, Jordan right now. Yes, Amman is the capital of Jordan. Uh, I got here pretty late last night. It was the flight schedule is a bit weird coming from Tel Aviv. It's either first thing in the morning or really late at night. But anyways, I got here safely with my friends. I uh, should be happy for that. Uh, right behind me, uh, right now, it's really the view of downtown Amman. Amman is the capital of Jordan, as I said. It's home to about 4 million plus uh, Jordanians. And today, we're gonna check out Amman. So Amman, a little bit about Amman. Amman is a, uh, uh, the capital of Jordan. Uh, it's home to, uh, I don't think there's a lot of sites that stand out, but uh, a few places to see includes the museum, as well as the uh, Rainbow Street. Apparently, Rainbow Street is one place to hang out uh, during the day, or especially at night when it comes to life. Uh, with restaurants, cafes, bars. Uh, Jordan is a very progressive country. Uh, if you notice Jordan, you know, it's, uh, it's progressive, it's modern, but at the same time, Jordanians still want to preserve their culture, uh, which is something to uh, be applauded. Uh, the Jordanians, they're young, progressive, friendly, uh, accepting, but at the same time, they want to preserve their culture. For example, you know, I'm standing behind this, uh, it's a uh, downtown of Amman, but if you go a bit further out, uh, do not be surprised if you see uh, a young Bedouin boy. Uh, Bedouin is the, the one of the uh, main tribes in Jordan, uh, tending to herding sheep. Such is the mix of modern and tradition in Jordan. So guys, in front of me is the Temple of Hercules. It was dedicated to, obviously, the Supreme Roman Deity. Uh, temple has been attributed to the popular hero god Hercules uh, due to the discovery of gigantic arms of a marble statue near the temple area. So I assume this must be part of the old city. Uh, as you can see from all the different holes, I used to be different roads, uh, a level below. Uh, after a while, this was actually, I think around about 1500 BC, uh, way before the arrival of Jesus Christ. And of course, there were many different kind of people that occupied um, this uh, citadel. Not just the Bedouin, but also different uh, stronger civilizations that uh, were formed and show up along the way that conquered Jordan. So this is uh, this was a mosque, uh, the highest uh, at some point. Um, this was the highest mosque in Amman, sitting on top of the citadel.
guys, so 105 steps later, we are at the top of the amphitheater or the Roman theater. Uh, this is perhaps what uh, where they used to call the cheapest seat in the section, but it offers a really great view nonetheless. You can see it. As well as the view of the city of Amman. So yeah, it's worth climbing up 105 steps. It's a little workout. It's not a big deal, uh, but it's worth coming up here just to enjoy the view. Guys, so we are at King Abdullah Mosque. It's the only mosque that is open to non-Muslim in Amman. Uh, so we're gonna go check it out. mosque that I believe is open to non-Muslim in the city uh, but what's so fascinating about this mosque is that look there's the view of a church it's right across the church and they coexist happily which is great <laughs> 